Okay, so for the Finch Lab procedure, the first thing you're going to want to do is open these slides called Finch Lab Data. So these are under the um, Today's Class folder, Class 3, March 31st folder, and then there's a subfolder called Finch Lab. And in that folder are these slides, the Finch Data slides. So these are separate from today's lecture slides. And then there's also the um, Finch Lab Evolution Lab Report. And so in order to do this procedure, what you're going to want to do is you're going to record in this table um, basically the final values from each of these trials. So you're going to run through, and in part one, you're going to do one procedure with the specific, um, specific input values that you can see on this slide in three. Then on slides four and five, you'll see what happens basically over time in these trials. And so um, what you can see is for both islands here, the average beak size is increasing over time. And then so is the population size, okay? And so what you're going to actually want to record in the table are the values from this, okay? So this is your field notes, and so this has um, basically the consecutive years and what's been happening um, to the beaks and the population over time. So this is asking about the final on the answer sheet. So the final comes from year 2267. So for Darwin Island, the final beak size, of course, is 24. 0.65. So that's what we'll record in this column, 24.65. And then for Wallace Island, the final is 22.83. 22.83. And so both have increased right over this initial 12 millimeter size. Don't worry about the plus or minus. That's just the variance. Um, you don't need to worry much about that. And then the population size, of course, this comes from just the next column over. So for Darwin Island, we have 747. And for Wallace Island, we have 691. Okay, so that's how you fill out that table. And then, of course, the um, you have trial two as well in these slides. So th that came from slide six of the PowerPoint. Then there's trial two again here, and you can find the field notes for trial two on slide nine, right? So it's the same thing for trial two. You're just going to record the finals from the year 2267. Pretty easy. Um, and so then this is going to ask you, how did the average beak size change on each island? And so this is asking, how did beach, beak size change over time? So um, compare the final beak size to the initial beak size. So they both increased, basically, is the simple answer. Then part two, similar procedure. Um, you're going to find part two in the slides. And so... Here we are on part two. We're going to do change in initial beak size for this one. And so for this one, we're going to um, more like compare the two islands to each other more directly. So in this trial, we're going to take the small beak size initially for Darwin Island again, 12 millimeters. But on Wallace Island, we're going to make the initial beak size much larger at 29 millimeters. And we're going to compare how those change over time. And so here is basically the graph of what happens there. You can see that for average beak size over time on Wallace Island, here the blue line, not really changing much over time, just some kind of random fluctuation. Um, remember the term gene drift, right? Just the normal um, random fluctuations that occur within a population. But on Darwin Island, you can see again, just like in trial one, you know, the beak size is increasing over this initial value. And it's also important to consider um, the input values that we have for precipitation for these. So remember that the range for precipitation is <clears throat> from the um, from my slides. You can see that the range for precipitation is between 0 to 100 centimeters. So 20 is actually on the low end. And what happens when you're on the low end of precipitation is that you are going to have larger um, seeds available. And so the larger beak tends to be useful for the larger seed size. So it's the same thing for, um, for part two, right? You have trial one, you're going to record your final values. And so for the Darwin's Island, your final value here is now 24.5. And for Wallace, it is 29.57. All right, and so it's pretty easy. Then you just answer the questions um, below. And so it should be pretty easy from there. Let me know if you have any other questions.